The entertainer that you're about to meet is 22 years old. Oh. 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 <laughs> What's his phone number? I'm watching you. Quiet down over there. He has been obsessed with card magic since he was 10 years old. And his specialty <laughs> is card manipulation, very difficult techniques that you might see, or at least know a card sheet is using. Now he himself is a regular performer at the Smoke and Mirrors Theater in Philadelphia, and next week he's going to be performing at the world famous Magic Castle. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, in September, he is going to be the proud recipient of the Milbourne Christopher Award for Close-Up Magician of the Year. <laughs> now, all that, and he is a full-time student at the oh, University cool. of Pennsylvania. <laughs> Molecular biology. Oh, he also lectures at the university on the history of card magic and the history of card cheats. So, ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm welcome to the close up card artistry of Daniel Roy. <laughs> I unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, I did not bring white vans. And uh, to whoever asked, it's four one five nine. Four one five. Well, uh, we'll see how that goes during the show. My name's Daniel Roy, and before I get started, I'm going to need two people to help me out. So let's see. In the um, white shirt, if you would come and join me right here. And let's see, how about in the, uh, yes, you, in the black, yes, you, if you would come up, join me right here, let's give her a big round of applause to take the seat. All the way out this way. It's going to take some feats of parkour if you go over the uh, drink stand there. Yeah, well, the eyes can deceive. So, uh, could I ask your name? Christina, good to meet you, and... Jorge, good to meet you. Jorge, Christina, thank you both so much for helping out. Now, uh, all my life I've been fascinated by all the various scams and cons. Probably the best example is what's known as three-card Monty. Have you ever heard of three-card Monty? Has anyone here ever heard of three-card Monty? Yep. Yeah. You of you have been around the block. <laughs> now, three-card Monty. Oh, someone out there plays a lot of three-card Montys? <laughs> I feel like there's an inside joke that I'm missing here, but I'm not going to ask. Now, Three Card Monty is a very old con game with a fascinating history. It uses just three playing cards. Now, the whole point of the uh, game, Christina, is to keep track of one of the cards as the operator, that's me, mixes them around on the table. If you, if you can follow the right card, you win. If you follow the wrong card, you lose. Now, in a little bit, Christina, we're going to be playing Three Card Monty for real. And I want to explain that this game is like a quiz show, and I'll be playing it as if Christina's the contestant. So that means no one else can give her hints or help her out. In other words, you'll be fending for yourself, okay? Sure. Now, by all accounts, the greatest Three Card Monty hustler of all time was a man by the name of Canada Bill Jones, who lived during the American Civil War. In one calendar year, he won $150,000 playing this little game. A lot of money, right? Yeah. Now, the cards he would use. What's that? Especially in college? Due yes, inflation. very true. Yeah, also in college, but due to inflation, yes. For some reason, I don't know why I'm still in school or why I do card tricks. I should just play three card Monty all day. Strange career choices, but food for thought. Now, uh, the cards he would use were the uh, Queen of Hearts, another perfectly identical Queen of Hearts, and 
the three of spades. They call this card the money card because you can follow it and win the money. Now, there were a few ways that Canada Bill Jones would toss those cards down on the table. Sometimes he would toss the money card down in the middle, and other times he would toss it down on the end. And then he'd mix the cards around a little. So now we're going to play for real. I want you to try to keep track of the money card, OK? I'll toss the money card down, then I'll mix the cards around a little. Now, it can be confusing because I cross my hands, but you probably saw that the money card went over here, right? No. 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 And that's how Canada Bill Jones won $150,000 playing this little game. Wasn't that sneaky? <laughs> now, uh, another great Monty hustler and the sometime partner of Canada Bill Jones was a man by the name of George DeVol. And it's actually a great story about George DeVol. Uh, he once won all of a wealthy man's money on a passenger train. The wealthy man then pulled out a gun and pressed it to George DeVol's head, demanding his money back. Mr. DeVol managed to calm the guy down, took him over to a corner. He said, look, I'd be happy to give you your money back, but I can't do it in front of all these people here because then they'll demand their money back too, right? So here's what we'll do. We'll play one last round of three-card money. I'll bet all the money you've lost, and I'll let you win. And the guy said, oh, except I don't have anything to bet. So George DeVol said, hey, that looks like an expensive gun. Why don't you get that? <laughs> so they handed the money and the gun to a stakeholder for safekeeping. They go back to the table, and of course, George DeVol cheated him again, snatched up the man's gun, pressed it to his back, and forced him to jump off the moving passenger train. <laughs> so now I'll show you how George DeVol would run this con. Noticing you're looking mildly more nervous than before? Can't imagine why. <coughs> now, George DeVol would toss the money card down on the end. And then he'd mix the cards around. There. Now, I'm not as good as George DeVol, so you probably saw the money card went over here, right? Where'd you see it go? Middle. You, you can put in the middle? Yeah. No, Christine, I'm trying to teach you how the game is played. You have to trust me. <laughs> and that's how George DeVol won that man's gun. Now, I should explain, the game isn't played like this anymore. It was too difficult to keep track of the two red queens and the black three. People found it too confusing. So these days, they play the game with uh, one red queen and two black queens. And that's how we'll play going forward. Would you uh, take a look at those cards, make sure the ink doesn't rub off or anything like that? So now that you know how the game works, you want to play for cash? Well, I've suddenly lost all interest. Thanks very much and good night. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She has more questions. After the, show. After the show. Yeah, we can talk about career choices. I mean, honestly, it's a toss up right now between three card Monty cheat and molecular biology. There's pros and cons for both sides. Some real dangers in molecular biology. You never know. Might get pricked by a pipette tip. Who knows? Okay. So, uh, this time, however, we're going to play the game for real, okay? But it doesn't matter if you win or lose, because I'm not giving anything away if you win. Sure. But this time, Christina, I want to ask you a favor. That is, I want you to keep track of the Queen of Hearts. In other words, I want you to follow the money card with your eyes. So when I ask you to point to where the Queen of Hearts is, I don't want you to point to where you think the card is or where you guess the card is. I want you to point to where you see it go. In other words, trust your eyes, okay? Okay. Now remember, Christina, don't bet on either of these uh, black cards here. This is the card you want to bet on. I'll toss the money card down. And remember, Christina, don't bet on this black three over here. Don't bet on this black three over here. This is the card to follow. In fact, I won't even mix the cards until you say go. Tell me when to go. Go. OK, Christina. <laughs> Point to where you saw the money card go. Sorry, did I put a little bend in the corner? You did. I saw you. Let me straighten that out. <laughs> And that's why you should never play three card, Monty. Oh boy. Yeah, really, really. Ooh, ooh. Aren't you glad you're not playing for? Well, you're down like 28 grand already. Let's be honest here. There's, there's no way. Now, no, look, I, I do feel a little bad. So I want to give you an opportunity that neither Canada Bill Jones nor George DeVol would have given you. This time. I will um, take the paper clip and I will put the paper clip onto the money card. Uh, so now there can be no doubt about which one the money card is because it's got paper clip on it.
No doubt, whatsoever. How can you not be sure the money card is where I say it is? It's almost like I'm trying to cheat you or something. Weird. Christina, now, walk you're... away. <laughs> <laughs> they say you should quit while you're ahead, but we kind of crossed that bridge a long time ago. So, um, okay, anyway, again, I put the uh, paper clip onto the uh, queen of hearts. It's your job to remember that the uh, black threes are only here to confuse you. Remember our last time there was a little bend in the corner? Uh -huh. I'm going to take that to another level because this time I will tear a corner off of the money card. <laughs> so now there can be no doubt about which one the money card is. I mean, no come doubt. on. Uh, there's a corner uh, torn out of it. Uh, what more do you need? X-ray vision? <laughs> All right, uh, tell me, are you right or left-handed? Right. Would you hold out your right hand for me? Uh, but palm down like this and just cover the corner up. Cover it completely. Now watch closely, Christina, because I'm going to mix those cards around. <laughs> and I have to tell you, Christina, it's amazing how many people would bet on what seems to be the surest thing. Would you lift your hand and show that corner to everyone here? <laughs> lift your hand up. There's fear in your eyes. Show that corner to everyone here. And you can see that it matches perfectly. And Christina, I'm going to give you these cards as a little souvenir and as a little reminder never ever to play three cards in the <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It's a good question. It's a good question. Yeah. It's a good question. What's that? Oh, yeah. So. Uh, yeah, I'm on, I'm on some of those lists where they don't yeah. let you into the casinos. Um, if anyone does want to take me to Vegas, you're welcome to. Pretty high price. There's also a waiting list, so uh, you'll have to sign up somewhere. <laughs> so, um, it's a lot of plastic surgery. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's just what I tell people so they're not suspicious about the three-card Monty. No one keeps track of it. It's great. Wasn't that, uh, wasn't that fun? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Except for the 55 grand now, yeah, because yeah. it was double or nothing for the last one, right? College loans, you got it. <laughs> Boy, that hit way too close to home. <laughs> I'm here to be happy and entertain, and now I'm depressed. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked this video, please give it a like. And if you want to see more, consider subscribing to the channel and following me on social media. If you're interested in taking private lessons, I teach magicians of all levels. Or if you want to book a show, you can contact me by email or on my website. Links are in the description. I'll see you next time.